I'll start by tying up some loose ends I left open last tutorial. Uh, at the end it seemed to all be working well, but what if, for example, we tried to penetrate this object here? We go in this side, and then it would try and spawn a new projectile out this side. And since this other object is right there, the, they would already be colliding when it spawns. Now Unreal can handle this to a degree, but we're going to write our own code to make sure it uh, handles it a bit more gracefully. Um, also remember that we, we could even have a third object. So what we're going to do is use a recursive solution so that no matter how many objects are here, it will always find an answer. Uh, we'll just go into our first person projectile and we'll go into the compute exit location function we did. And uh, right before we um, give back a result, uh, an exit location, we'll um, just in between here do our little collision check. So I'll drag this out and type in a comment check for collision at exit location. We'll just break that link and um, how we'll do that is another sphere trace, but this time it'll just be a single one instead of a multi-sphere trace. The start location will be our exit location. Um, and we'll actually, we need a bit of, bit of breathing room. So um, I'll uh, add a centimeter to that location to just make sure that uh, when we do spawn our new sphere, that um, that it's not trapped in between two objects. So this is just um, adding the normalized impact vector to give us a centimeter of breathing room. And uh, the radius will be the same as last time as will the collision object types. And of course, we want to drag the exact same array of them out so that if we want to edit them later, we only have to edit them once. And we do want to ignore one actor in particular, which is um, the, the hit actor, because when we, when we do this sphere trace, occasionally it will actually return a hit for the um, original object that, that we just penetrated. So we'll take this hit actor from over here. We'll just drag it over in Unreal and make it an array for us. Now, what do we do um, if we do get a hit? We'll do a branch. And so this will return true if there was a hit. Uh, first I'll do, if, if there wasn't a hit, we're happy. And so we'll just uh, return our original exit location from back here. But if there was a new hit, then what we do to do a recursive loop is to drag our compute exit, lo exit location function into itself and connect it up. And the hit result which contains our new object that we just hit, will connect up, and the impact velocity will be the same as the original one. Uh, we'll have another branch after that. So if we did find a result, then we'll return it. Our new exit location tick result found and if we didn't find a result we just leave that box unchecked that should just about do it for uh, handling that edge case gracefully as you can see the projectile goes through all three obviously it's not the perfect solution in that the projectile just thinks it's going through one very thick object, but 
you know, at the moment our projectiles are big 40 centimeter spheres. So, uh, you know, that when we change it down to a bit smaller, it shouldn't be noticeable in any situation, really. Uh, for the other edge case, I just finished modeling up this uh, U shape, which uh, would exhibit some unwanted behavior. And with the way the code is now, it it would um, the projectile would enter here and exit right out the back here because if you remember we do a multi-sphere trace from this point back to here and so the first hit will be here and so it's as simple as changing the direction of a for loop and so instead we'll uh, we'll start um, finding hits going from this point to this point so we'll go back into our projectile first person projectile blueprint and we'll go into the compute exit location function and where this for each loop is we will just delete that and give ourselves a bit of room drag out a branch and uh, if we do have some objects to loop through then we'll do a for loop And Unreal doesn't natively uh, handle uh, reverse for loops. So what we'll do is we'll start at index 0. We'll get the last index of this array. And then with this uh, return, we'll do an integer minus an integer and it will be the last index minus our returned index and then we'll get a array uh, member from our out hits didn't quite uh, I think I used the wrong get apparently uh, yeah I want to drag out this into a get there we go And connect up the hit and the execution path and then this one too and this one too there you go save compile and let's see what happens perfect so it spawned here and then rebounded off that one